Hello guys, this is Hanarashi, and today I would like to share my uh, Ancestral War Chief, aka Whack a Mole build. Uh, this is a level 89 duelist in the Prophecy Hardcore League right now. And first off, I'm going to show you guys my tree. Uh, this guy is spec pretty tanky because he's a hardcore character. Um, lots of health, 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 um, a little bit of armor evasion, more health. We have mace damage nodes and ancestral bond for our additional totem. And a couple of jewel sockets, the most we can get, the best we can get. We are playing self found, so I don't do any trading. So anything I find during this league I can use, but I don't trade with other players, so. These jewels that we crafted up here, life attack speed strength dex, life chaos res area damage, life and fire cold res. Uh, we also spec IR, uh, mostly because as a self found player it's a lot easier to find gear if I can look at armor evasion gear as well as evasion gear rather than just armor gear stack up my armor. Um, at some point I'm gonna do a little bit of respecking on this guy I think. This is kind of just a rough tree for now. I do want to add a little more damage, maybe skull cracking, because my damage feels a, a bit low on like higher tier maps that have enfeeble or fizz reduction. And possibly some armor nodes too. Still thinking about how I can make room for those nodes. I'll, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment on that. And next off, my gear. Um, big part of this build is I was able to find a Void Heart this league, which is, if you guys don't know, well, I mean, the big stat is melee attacks cause bleeding, melee attacks poison on hit. So, I actually found this pretty late in this character's life, like level 85 or so. So I had a had a decently big change then in the build. Kind of went from just regular running hatred and those kinds of auras to more of a damage over time build. And I'm also using a five like Morohi, which is also a really lucky drop in self found. This is my second one of my entire PoE career. So um, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, you could just use a really good rare mace rather than a Murohi, but I just haven't found better than this, especially since the increased area of effect support is super nice. Uh, for my rares, uh, mostly just trying to get life and resist and well, higher armor evasion if possible. Uh, I'm wearing this actually for the int because I'm running a uh, conk effect gem. And yeah, having in tissues in general. So I'm wearing this for a helmet. Uh, my gloves are the things that can get upgraded the most. 12% I mean, attack speed is nice, but everything else on here is not very impressive, so. And boots, life, resist, movement speed. Again, I wish the armor was a little higher. Uh, my chest is decent armor and evasion, life. A little bit of res and dex. Cause I have I have some attribute issues with this build with int and dex. Uh, amulets, a little bit of fizz, a little bit of cold damage doesn't do much. Life resists. And mother ring is life and resists. On oh, my belt, probably one of my best rares I'm wearing actually is life, armor, strength, and a res. And I'll probably craft another res on there depending on what I feel like I need in the future when I change up gear. So next, um, I'll go over my gem links. Ancestral War Chief is linked to Conk Effect for the more area damage, melee fizz damage for more melee fizz damage, lustration for more damage, and rapid decay for more damage over time. So that scales well with our Void Heart here. And 
Yeah, you can be pretty versatile with the uh, gem links. I was running faster attacks instead of rash rapid decay for a really long time. And yeah, I could even could even try like faster attacks instead of less duration here if uh, you have a green, green, blue in your five link, which I didn't really want to spend the chromes on. Uh, we also have uh, Leap Slam linked to faster attacks and Fortify. We have a Stone Golem for the life regen, just makes us a little bit tankier, I guess. Oh, and the uh, Taunt is really nice on Stone Golem too, because yeah, we want we want the least stuff attacking us as possible since. We can't really defend ourselves while well, depending on our totems. And Immortal Kong, cast and damage taken. And I also do running during Cry. The during Cry is a little scary because, like I said, we don't really want stuff targeting us. This makes everything target us, but uh, I like to use it right before I attack a bunch of porcupines so I don't die to the spikes. Or when I see like big fizz damage pack in general. I'll try to use Enduring Cry so um, my mortal call can potentially save me. Uh, my auras. I'm actually not using this Hatred or Herald of Ash. Uh, I'm using Temp Chains on Blasphemy. So this is mostly for defense but it also helps a little bit because the Temporal Change has uh, effects on cursed enemies expire slower which is really nice for a degen since with rapid decay our degen duration gets shorter but temp chains helps make that a little longer, cancel that out a little bit. I'm also running a grace for the extra evasion when it's converted to armor with IR and I do need more de decks for that <laughs> hopefully at some point. And yeah, I wanted to just run a white strand map for you guys, um, just to demo how this build works. And I'll show you guys, I guess, how to play the build in general. Yeah, my, my gem links could definitely use work too. I'm really bad at getting my character min-max, but here, this is the general idea I've got here. You can pretty much just place your totem down in the middle of the pack, and um, you don't really have to sit there and watch it smack for too long because the degen will usually take care of it even after, or even if you get too far away for it to uh, hit. Because if you get a certain distance away it will stop hitting the mobs. So try to stay in that range but if you see them degening down and they don't have that much health you can go ahead and just walk away and they'll, the degen will do the rest of the work. But yeah, it's a, it's a cute little build. You get to see totems <laughs> whacking things. Classic, classic whack-a-mole. Gonna kill a few mobs here, kill the boss, so you guys can get an idea how he runs. And damage or tooltip right now is about 14k. So a little lower than I'd like it to be. Um, definitely feels lacking in higher level maps with uh, like in feeble or fizz damage reduction or both. Very tanky. I think. I think I'm gonna end up just specking out of a little bit of health and specking into some more damage. Oh, and one thing I wanted to discuss was uh, the ascendancy. This guy is actually just a plain duelist right now. 
Um, yeah, I really hate the lab and I'm not a huge fan of Ascendancy, so I don't actually have Ascendancy points. So that means you guys can decide if you decide to run this build, what kind of Ascendancy you would want to put with him. Uh, a couple options are, of course, uh, Hierophant for the extra totem and the dirge charges. Uh, you can also go... I think my thought on this guy was to go uh, champion for the perma fortify and then I wouldn't really have to worry about getting fortify on leap slam because I don't actually really use my leap slam that much. And that way I would be tankier all the time and maybe be able to get rid of some health and put it into damage. Also Slayer would be a really nice option if uh unfortunately I'm southbound but if I had southbound gloves um where I can guarantee that I get the kill with my degen and then I would be able to get the on kill bonuses that the Slayer offers since otherwise it's my totem's kill, so I don't actually get the effect. Another choice is Juggernaut, or obviously the armor doubled from chest. Uh, really tanky, not being slowed by chilled ground. Um, also a chance to gain endurance charge on hit could be nice as well. But yeah, that was that's the gist of this build. Um, yeah, it could use a lot of work, but it, this is just the general idea. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's fun to watch watch my totems uh, play whack-a-mole. So thanks for watching guys and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments what type of things I can improve with the build and any suggestions you have for the build. And uh, my Twitch is Pretty much the same as my YouTube, Hanarashi. <laughs> uh, Twitch.tv slash Hanarashi if you guys want to see this build live. I'll be running higher tier maps as well so you guys can see how this build would run in like tier 10 plus maps or whatever I can find map pool wise. And thanks for watching guys and hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye.